This is J with the I, not with the Y. Welcome back to my channel. You'll be seeing me a whole lot more. So don't stop watching. Um, I am doing a nightcap. Well, I'm gonna start calling my channel nightcaps because I do all my chat. I do all my videos around like 10:30, 11 o'clock at night every night. So I'm gonna be calling it the nightcap. You guys are gonna eat dinner with me right before I go to bed, and then. Yeah, I'm just going to choose a topic to talk about. Um, but yeah, so I made some barbecue chicken, baked chicken. I'm trying to um, eat healthy. I got to eat healthy. I, I do. I eat fast food and do review on fast food probably once a week, but I got to eat healthy. I mean, it's not really healthy, but at least I baked my chicken and then um, I got some barbecue sauce on it. And then I made some shrimp and sausage jambalaya and then some corn because I sweat corn. I told you that, but look, I'm going to show y'all how it look. It looks so bomb, huh? And I'm using a paper plate because I'm so tired. I don't feel like washing dishes tonight. I'm still tired from the beach, kind of, but I don't feel like washing dishes. So um, <laughs> I'm using paper plates. Except for this fork, I'm going to have to wash this fork and the pans that I use to cook. But yeah, um, and I got me some water. Uh, like I said, I am trying to eat better so water it is i mean i don't really drink too much soda i don't drink soda at all actually or juice i might drink apple juice here and there but i just drink water and like um like those cascade ice drinks stuff like that but yeah tonight i want to talk about friendship It's me that's falling off the bone, by the way. So fire. So, I'm talking about friendship tonight because me and my older cousin, well, my older cousin came over the other day, and we always have deep talks when she come over. So, we was talking, it was a deep talk, and we were just talking about how a lot of friends, like, in order to be a good friend, I feel like you got to have, a, you know, you got to have good friends or good people around you. And some people expect you to be a good friend, but they be the worst friend. And it goes to say, what is a good friend, you know? What do you think being a good friend means? Well, to me, I feel like your friends is supposed to be your family. So, you would treat them how you would treat your siblings and your kids, stuff like that. I mean, but don't nobody... Don't get me wrong, nobody is going to get treated like your kids because your kids are your kids. But when you have real true friends, good friends that you grew up with, you're just supposed to treat them like they'll be your sibling. And a lot of people walk around here using the friend word, but when their friends doing something positive with their life, they're kind of more jealous than supporting them. And you can't be like that. Because as much as you tell yourself that you support them or you there for them, um, you're a good friend, deep down inside, you can tell yourself that, but God knows the truth. God knows your heart and if you're really genuine. And with me, friendship is everything to me because when I was a kid, I looked forward to having friends. Like, I always needed a friend. I was a life of the party. I loved being around people. And I remember one time, I came home from school crying because... People didn't want to be my, like, I had this girl who I really liked, and, I mean, when I liked like that, but 
not to the point where I want her to be my friend, and she was so mean to me, you know? So I remember one day I came home and cried to my mom, and her advice to me was, you don't need friends, you got siblings. Which I understand that, but there's the balance between your siblings and your friends. And in real reality, people who say they don't need friends be the main ones who actually do. Because you do. You need at least one good friend. And being a good friend is being there. Period. It's nothing else to it. Being there. Being there for your friend is very important because when they ain't got nobody to talk to, that's what, that's where you come in at. A shoulder to lean on, you're going to always need somebody outside of your family that you can hang on to. Being a good friend is when your kids is their kids and their kids is yours. Being a good friend is picking up the slack if you got a friend, you know, who's a single parent or something like that, and they need your help. You're, you're, if you're that friend, you're going to pick up the slack. Don't get me wrong. Don't let anybody take advantage of you or use you because a lot of people do that, you know. But, you know, just being a good friend, you're going to always be there for your friend and picking up that slack. You're not going to leave your friend hanging. And being a good friend means you're not going to talk about your friend behind uh, his or her back. Um, and if you're around a crowd that doesn't like your friend, you're not going to engage in it at all. When you be a good friend, you have to make sure you balance your friendship and your relationship, you know, very differently because sometimes you got those people who say they're your friend, but they also tell their boyfriend or girlfriend all the stuff you guys talk about. And that's not a good friend. Because that's confidential. You're never going to see me, you know, going through my husband's phone, checking stuff that him and his friends talk about. Because that's his personal business. If he wanted me to know, he would tell me. And if he told me, I would keep it to myself. Because you don't tell nothing that your husband or wife says at all. Or boyfriend or girlfriend, however it goes. And I never really got why some people... You know, would tell their mate about what their friend got going on. It's not their business. Being a good friend is feeling and knowing when something's going on going on with your friend. You can feel it. You can. I mean, I don't throw that friend word around loosely. But I welcome everybody in, you know, with, a open, with open arms, you know. Um, I'm a cool, you know, I'm a really cool person. Like, literally, you can, anybody can be my friend. But once you cross me, there's the point of when we cannot be, no longer be friends, you know. If I, if I said that right or whatever. But... You know, the main point of this video is that you really got to watch who you call your friends because you got those people who call you a friend but be deep down in competition with you or jealous of you. And my sister always say, well, how do you know they're jealous of you? You know, or how, how do you know they're a hater? You could tell when somebody is jealous of you and they're hating. And you really shouldn't throw that hate word around, uh, around loosely because not everybody's hating. Some people are really, when they say stuff, they really say that they help you, you know? But friendship is not a competition. It's not. Being a real friend, you work together. You support your friend. You, you're supposed to always be there for your friend, period. I know we all grown. We all have our days. We all go through stuff. But when it matters the most, I'm there. And I've been having the same friends since I was younger, so you know, I'm you know I'm pretty much good. But I just been seeing a lot of people on social media 
like just basically throwing her on that framework and they tell like all their business they do a lot of different stuff and it's like you really can say that person your friend because that's not cool, you know? And if you don't if you don't think of your friend as your family, then it ain't your friend. If you have to be in competition with that person or feel like that person's better than you or think they better than you, you're not a real friend. Because ain't no friend gonna think that they friend think they better than somebody. Cause anybody ever said stuff, anybody ever said them like that. Most times it's it's something that you have inside of you, like your inner self, your self-esteem that's making you feel that way about your friend. You know? And usually, if you're a true friend, if you're doing good or making it, you're gonna make sure your your friend is doing good at making it, you know? And that's just me. That water is so good. But, yeah. But, that's enough of my ranting. <laughs> and this is not a sub to anybody. It's just, I just see a lot of stuff on social media about, like, friendships. And a lot of people ain't got no support. You know, you have events, people don't show up. Like, all that. Mm -mm. That, that, I mean, you know, stuff happens, but, nah. I'm, I'm telling you, like, you really gotta watch who you call your friend. Because... Sometimes you call somebody your friend, you think they're there for you, supporting you, all this, but deep down inside, they plotting to destroy you. And you gotta watch that, that bad negative energy, you gotta watch it. You really do. You don't need nobody around you that's negative. You gotta make sure everything is positive about you because whatever negativity they bring to the table, it, it affects you and your family and your relationship and everything else. Because I know me personally, you know, if my friends, if, if something's going on and it's negative coming from my friend, I'm gonna get in one of those moves and I wanna take it out. On my husband and my kids, which is not right. So I try to keep that stuff away from me. That all that negativity stuff, you know. And those people who always got something wrong, always got a problem. Nah, you gotta. That stuff gotta go. I ate all my food tonight, by the way, y'all. <laughs> For the first time, I ate all my food. Well, I got a little bit of rice left, but yeah. Just make sure you watch who you call your friend because they will backstab you sometime. Um, I mean, depending on who the friend is, but. Not only that, the whole time they be plotting on you to destroy you. And make sure y'all pray over y'all friendships and y'all friends. Because prayer, prayer really do work. I'm telling you, God will pull out the bad demons. They will, he will. He will. He'll pull them out. He'll let you know who's, who's really your friend and who's not. Who's there for you and who's not. But make sure, you no, know, for real, make sure y'all support y'all friends. Be there. Don't be jealous. Don't be um, in competition. Because what I got, you got. You know? Really. And this is not about me. This is just in general. Like I said, me and my cousin was, on, was talking the other day. And we were just looking at social media. Just seeing how a lot of people be in competition with their friends. And it shouldn't be like that. So some of y'all live above y'all means trying to compete with your friends and then y'all end up falling short or falling backwards, you know? And if you can't vent to your friend, that really ain't your friend. Um, I'm telling you, if you cannot vent to somebody, that is not your friend. You don't need nobody around you with that bad energy, for real. And me personally, if I don't, if my friend don't deal with somebody or like somebody, I'm not going to deal with them. I'm not. I'm really not. You know, uh, that's just loyal. That's just being loyal. That's just like if my husband didn't like somebody, I wouldn't deal with him. That's just being loyal. <laughs> my mom had the same two friends since I can remember, like, since I, before I was born, really. And, yeah, they might, they might have fell out here and there, but when I say she got a solid team, she got a solid team. I mean... I call them my aunts. Like, that's how, you know, good their friendship is. You know? And they don't let nobody get in between that. And if you got a friendship where you let people get in between your friendship, then it's not real. It's really not. 
But anyways, shout out to all those good friends out there. Make sure y'all keep y'all girls back, y'all dudes back or whatever, whoever y'all got going on. Make sure, you know, y'all there for y'all friends as much as y'all can be. Start getting together with your friends if you haven't. Make sure your friends are uh, straight. You know, the school year is starting soon. I think next week for some kids. Just make sure y'all friends, kids got, what you know, what's needed. And, you know, if not, try to help them and figure it out. Because sometimes friends be scared to tell you, you know, like, they're struggling. And it shouldn't be like that. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm tired. My husband got work in the morning. I got to feed my baby, take a shower, you know, all that good stuff. But you will see me back tomorrow because I'm going to post consistently, especially because the school year is starting. I might start doing morning breakfasts, brunch with you guys, stuff. But I'm going to make sure I keep my nightcaps going, my, my stuff going at night and eating dinner with you guys. Um, but yeah, peace. <laughs>